my mother died in 1993 and my, my, my father died uh, much later in uh, 2007. My parents were always liberal. They were not outwardly racist, but their relations with black people or Palestinian Arabs were very much sort of master-servant, was not on the basis of equality. And my life has been very different to this. So I, I, I've engaged with people of many different backgrounds, colors, as an equal and, and desired that. And I think to some extent succeeded. And my parents, through my experience, started to open up as well. So my, my mother, for instance, in South African terms, I'd say was, was a racist. She came from Europe. She never related to being in Africa. She couldn't quite understand how she got there. But having said that, she had a very comfortable life in Cape Town. My father, at the stage in, when he lived in Cape Town, he had a hat factory. And all, all the workers were colored people. In South African terms, people of uh, sort of mixed race, uh, to use that, that strange term, right? Um, composite of uh, the Khoi and the San Europeans and the African Bantu-speaking people. And he had very decent relations with people, but again, very paternalistic. But he was not a supporter of apartheid, but also feared change. People had a high standard of living and the threat, you know, the black threat, the, the, the communist threat, that sort of propaganda had made most Jews support the establishment, support the status quo and the government. They voted for an opposition party which was liberal, but still looked at a qualified franchise, did not look at one person, one vote. So they wanted to control the situation. As they grew older, though, they did soften. When my mother, by the time my mother died, she supported my work in the trade unions. They never once said uh, what I'm doing is foolish or not understandable. So they didn't put obstacles in my way. My father on Israel was always a hawk coming from the revisionist perspective. But he too gradually started to realize that what was happening was unjust and also untenable. That for Israel to try and swallow the territories and deny Palestinians equal rights, like in South Africa, was going to blow up. That the future of, of Jewish Israelis could only be secured if there was security for Palestinians. In the same way in South Africa, whites couldn't have security if black people didn't have. So those questions he did absorb, and he changed. So we had a fruitful uh, exchange on those on that ground.